Good morning, this is Sebastian from Extreme Tech. Uh, what you see here is a nightly build of Firefox for Android. Uh, it's version 11. Uh, the main thing that you'll notice is that this is without the custom Firefox UI. Um, this, is, this is their move to the native Android interface, basically, um, to make it faster, uh, less laggy, which is the previous build was plagued by. Um, but we're not here really to look at this browser, although I'll show you it quickly. You see it's fairly smooth. It's not quite as smooth as uh, the native Chrome browser, but it is a nightly build. But anyway, uh, the main thing I want to show you here um, is that the web API is starting to take shape. Basically the web API is um, a way for web browsers to access hardware in the same way that uh, native apps uh, can access it. The idea being that HTML5 web apps should be first class citizens on mobile phones and eventually it will allow for a web based uh, operating system like Chrome OS but Firefox OS. So what we have is a few demos here. Here you can see the browser reading the current battery charge level and you can see it says charging if I unplug it, it says unplugged. Look at that. And then the screen updates. Good. And then just to show you again, now it says charging. Another demo we have is the camera API demo. This has crashed a couple of times, so apologies if it does crash. This basically allows me to take a photo directly in the browser without going through the gallery or similar. If it loads, maybe. And try again. Camera. Okay, we'll come back to this one. And then another example here is we have the Vibrator ABI, API demo, as in Vibrator Motor. Um, doesn't actually work on this phone. Um, it could be that I'm using ice cream sandwich, or it might be that it hasn't been set up for the next success, or it might just be a bad example. But the idea is that the browser will be able to vibrate your phone in a, so an HTML5 game could vibrate your phone, for example. Let's try the camera again. There we go. So the idea is you take a photo of my crappy MacBook Pro. Not a fanboy, by the way. And then you select it. And if it doesn't crash, it crashed. Anyway, if it hadn't crashed, um, the file would then be loaded into the browser. Uh, yeah, that's basically what it does. Anyway, uh, that's a brief hint of the web API. Um, again, it will, it's in Firefox 11 at the moment, so it should be in your Android browser for just after the new year, or sometime in spring. As you can see, it's, uh, it really does look quite different from uh, the old uh, Firefox home start screen. It doesn't actually look all that pretty, but maybe this is just a debug sample. Okay, I'm Sebastian for Extreme Tech. Goodbye.